So I intended to upload this video before, but I recorded it. Then I realized I left some out and I don't know how to edit. Um, so here we go again. This is recorded on my phone. And I don't, I, I can't find a good editing software. But anyways, we're over, over a quarter of a minute into the video. I got to get into the video. Hi, my name is Trevor. In this video, I'm going to talk about what it's like being on this autism spectrum. <clears throat> now, I was I was diagnosed with autism in the first grade, and I had no idea for years. I only found out like a month or two ago. I can't remember, which is crazy. For a while, I was thinking, huh, am I in special ed? I think I'm in special ed, but I never knew for sure, <laughs> which was kind of weird. Because they're sort of like, oh, am I in special ed? I have no idea. <clears throat> um, and yeah, I, I, I was in special ed. Um, so what else is there to talk about? Well, people who have autism, just their brain functions differently than most people. Mine functions, like from what I've heard from other people, mine doesn't function like theirs. Oh, other people on the spectrum is what I mean. Where they have a hard time focusing on one certain thing while they're in a noisy area. Um, I don't have trouble with that. The one thing I do have trouble with is sometimes I will forget stuff and my brain just feels like it drank a gallon of Red Bull every hour. Because it just moves all around, it just moves around very fast. And it's, well, it is sometimes hard for me to focus on one certain thing. Sometimes my brain is just so now and probably it happens to a lot, of, a lot of people that are not on the spectrum. But, um, my brain just is fast and it just goes around fast and sometimes I can't pay attention. Like, uh, the other day, not going to specifically say everything because one, it wasn't important and two, eh, not that important. Um, someone had said, okay, this, and I said, well, okay, what was it again? Okay, this. And I was thinking after that, okay, what was it again? Was this? I can't remember. They, and it wasn't even like seconds later. I was focusing straight on what I was supposed to do while I was there. So the fact that I couldn't remember what I was supposed to write down was kind of, kind of weird. Um, uh, what else? Like, I can remember some things, but I can't remember other things. Usually things that I can remember very well are things that I have an interest in. Not those cringy memories. Why does my brain like to just all of a sudden bring it up and then be like, oh, you remember this cringy thing you did last year or the year prior or just last week? Whenever I think of that, I'm just thinking, why does my brain hate me? But that happens to a lot of people when they think of, they just randomly think of something cringy that they did. At least I think. From what I've heard on the internet, yeah. Because, um, like, if I've seen a lot of memes, and some people have even said oh, in the memes, oh, yeah, cringy memories. <laughs> you basically get it, how I explained um, cringy memories with me. I'm not sure um, of anything about that, but guessing a lot of people have that happen to him. It happened to them, not just people on the spectrum. Um, <clears throat> and, like, some, like, let's think of something I can remember. Well, not remember. Oh, yeah, I already gave an example about the, um, about me having to write something down, but I couldn't just focus on it, even though I was paying attention. Things I can remember usually have something, um, to do with something I like, like I said. I can remember the first Dan TDM video I saw, surprisingly. Even though I saw it, how many years ago now? Eight years ago. I saw it eight years ago. And yet I can still remember it. What was it? It was where Dan TDM was reviewing the mod called the Cannibalism Mod. Why do I remember that? I don't know how I remember that eight years later. That's just surprising. And like someone could go into my Lego bin. Well, I don't have a Lego bin. Um, all of my like all the Legos that are just Lego pieces are in three separate drawers. That weigh well over a hundred pounds. They weigh a lot. Um, 
someone could pick out a Lego piece that is not too common but not too rare, and I could probably tell them where it came from. Like if somebody picks out, um, like, just imagine a Lego piece here. I'm thinking of a Lego piece. It's a blue crystal. Not like the old Lego crystal piece, but more like a gem crystal piece. This came in the, uh, this, I originally had this in the Avengers Tower from the Avengers Age of Ultron movie. But then I apparently lost the crystal and I was never able to find it. And I got the same crystal again back in the Hogwarts Great Hall set. Along with another uh, other crystals that I've never had before. Surprisingly, I can remember all that. Probably because the Avengers Age of Ultron Avengers Tower was one of my favorite sets. Um, and also, um, surprisingly, I can remember that I decided to take the set apart and then rebuild it because I was bored. There are a lot of Lego sets I want to rebuy. Critics' Imperial Shuttle, the Avengers Age of Ultron Tower, like I previously said. Um, I Now I don't have anything else to say. Like, some people, a lot of people experience autism differently. And some people will say, oh, people experience it like this. Not everybody experiences it like this. I'd seen a video once, and this was when I had TikTok. And I will admit, I felt like my IQ dropped when I had TikTok. Um, so that's really saying something. I'd seen a video where it was like, how different disabilities work for people. Um, and it was dyslexia, couldn't pronounce it. And it was where I was just waving around. And then one of my friends who actually has dyslexia was able to say, no, it's not like that. Um, so don't, don't trust everything you read on the internet or see on the internet. Just if they don't cite their source, take it with a grain of salt. Um. And I have not seen a single TikToker who has cited their source. So take everything you see on TikTok with a grain of salt. Um, so I, could, I could list off quite a bit of you TikTokers off the bat that do not trust a single, a single thing they say. But this video is not about TikTokers. Um, even when I had TikTok, I would still see those videos where I would say, how different disabilities work for people. I never saw one for autism, so I can't specifically um, say if that video was incorrect for me or not. Um, especially since, well, when I had TikTok, I didn't know that I had autism. Um, so, yeah. I hope this video was informational to some people who are not on the spectrum and who don't know that much about autism. And I hope you could have enjoyed this video and learn more about what it's like. <clears throat> so, before I go, I would just like to say a few things. Have a good day. You don't have to hit the subscribe button. You don't have to hit the like button. I'd be okay if you disliked my videos. Or if you're subscribed to my channel, I'd be okay with you unsubscribing. People will do that on big YouTubers videos every single day. I don't really care. I'm not that I'm not a big YouTuber, but I don't care if somebody unsubscribes or hits the dislike button. I do appreciate it when you do subscribe and hit the like button. Every YouTuber does. But clout does not matter to me and it shouldn't matter to anybody. So just remember, have a good day.